Hello, and welcome to Earth's Answers. Today I'd like to talk about worming cats naturally, specifically with diatomaceous earth. Um, there's a lot of controversy on the internet about worming cats naturally and, you know, does it remove tapeworms or roundworms or protozoas and all that different stuff. And I'm going to give uh, my experience, what I've, you know, had with my cats for the past oh, probably 20 years now, I've been using diatomaceous earth. Um, it is a sediment, for anybody that doesn't know what it is, it's a sedimentary uh, fossilized diatoms. Um, this is like fossilized seashells that, um, you know, just has settled to the bottom of the ocean and then there's no ocean bed anymore. And this is mined like in Montana and Wyoming and stuff like this. Now there's two different types of diatomaceous earth. There's food grade, and then there's um, pool grade or industrial grade. And the industrial grade is not, it's not uh, processed as fine. And so the abrasiveness of it is, is um, more porous and definitely not what we wanna use. We only wanna use food grade diatomaceous earth. Now, I have, Loved my diatomaceous earth so long I, that I've used it on my horses, my cats, my dogs, my chickens, and my goats, and everything. So I've been using it, for, like I said, for about 20 years. Um, I started marketing it into, you know, I sell it for cats and dogs and stuff as a warmer online. And I've added some ingredients to it myself. I've added vitamin C and lemongrass and um, olive leaf and I just found that those things kind of help with the immune system because this the, the way the diatomaceous earth works is it actually scratches up the worms and kills the worms so they can't build resistance to it or anything like that and um, so the worms actually die in this in the stomach these parasites they'll die in the stomach and then Sometimes that can have like a, a toxic effect on the pet it, compared to them it, making them just expel the worms. Um, but th it's not toxic like they, they're going to die or anything. It's just toxic in the way that they might not feel very good. So I've found that the vitamin C and the olive leaf and the lemongrass really seem to help boost their immune system and rid that stuff out as quick as possible and just kind of support the whole process. Now... Do you need to add that stuff? No. The diatomaceous earth is the actual ingredient that kills the worms. And it does kill every intestinal parasite. And I've been selling it for about seven or eight years now. And I have thousands of customers who use it. I have thousands of repeat customers coming back for it all the time. Um, it's, you know, I know it works. It, I've used it. I've... I've taken in and had fecal counts done and no worms. And I've had, you know, we've had worms, fecal counts with worms and then taken them in and no worms. So I know it works. There's just no doubt. And it works every single time. Now, that's my experience. If somebody else has used it and it hasn't worked for them, you know, I, I don't know about that. Every customer um, that I've ever had, it's worked on. I had one man... He said it wasn't working for his weenie dog and he, you know, wanted his money back and I sent him more to keep it on longer. Maybe there he's, you know, your dog is reinfesting and he said, no, there's not a possibility, but he tried for another couple months on it and no, he said it didn't work. So a year later, he comes back and orders more and I had made a note of his name and he said, I asked him, well, if it's not working, why are you buying more? You know? And he said, well, we found out that Penny had been eating the rabbit poo and they didn't know it underneath the rabbit hutch. And I, anyways, they were buying it not only for Penny, but for the rabbits as well, because they didn't know the rabbits even had worms. So um, anyways, it ended up working for this family and uh, Penny was rid of worms and so were the rabbits. And, um, you know, it works. It just really and truly 100% works. And not only is it totally non-toxic for the, the pet, it is beneficial in 
It's got 17 trace minerals and um, it actually cleans out the intestines and so they absorb more of their nutrients and they you know, can assimilate their weight better and everything. Um, you know, pets that are obese can take it and actually lose weight on it and pets that are super thin can take it and gain weight on it. I, I mean, it's, it's amazing stuff. But anyways, um, I have a lot of customers that always ask me when I send them, the, I, I send with instructions, but they're still not really sure on how to feed it to their pet and especially cats. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show how I feed my cats with it and the three different ways that I do it. Um, you can feed just like one cat, one, you know, one dose and um, on one plate, or you can feed up to five cats on one plate and dose them all at once. And, um, or you can take dry food, which this isn't my best recommendation if they have worms. You will definitely want to worm them, uh, give them a dose for uh, once a day for seven days. Um, but if they're, they're free of worms and you just want to prevent worms, you can add it to dry food, dry kibble and let them munch they'll get a little bit of that every day and that will keep them warm free for you know as long as you keep doing it and it can be fed every day it's that safe um when they do have a worm infestation they'll need it for a full seven day treatment and i say seven to ten days the worms will be gone in three days but the reason why i say seven to ten days is there can be that you know they they could have shed worms off in the house or out wherever they sleep outside or whatever wherever they're at and reinfest themselves so you want to just continue the process for seven to ten days and make sure that you you know you just kill off everything and um, yeah that's it so this is how I do it I'll go ahead and show you so right here I'm mixing it for three cats and I used um, three teaspoons of the diatomaceous earth blend and I'm just putting it in regular canned cat food and you can put it in sardines or tuna or anything like that. Um, I had originally made Dusty's with one teaspoon and she's eating it on her, her own plate. Um, she's 15 years old and doesn't get enough food ever. She eats with other cats, so she eats by herself. And then I just let the other cats just eat it together and it really doesn't matter if one gets more than the other. Um, here I'm going to go ahead and show you how I add it to the dry food. Now you don't have to put quite as much as I did in this batch, but I haven't been warming my outdoor cats, my barn cats as much as I'd like to. So I'm just making a little bit thicker, but, um, I just mix it in and it coats the, the dry food real well. And at first when it's like this, they kind of turn their nose up and don't really want to eat it but the more it sits on there the more the oils from the food soak into the diatomaceous earth and then it turns back to its normal color and they eat it really well you know they eat it really well but that's all i do um you can add it to the bag your bag of cat food and like i would say for 11 pound bag is i think what my bags usually are um i do about mm, probably a fourth cup and that's just for maintenance on that and like I said if they have you know that they have worms tapeworms or anything like that um, you'll want to do the seven day regimen and mix it into like a wet food or something well this is it this is how I worm my cats um, diatomaceous earth uh, it's got a lot of other you know wonderful qualities to it and benefits and stuff that um, I take it myself and I did make a video on how I take it um, I take it daily um, for a parasite cleanse as well as just keeping my intestinal tract um, lined out. And then the silica in there is really good for your joint health and everything. Great for the pets. But um, I'll link that uh, video in the description box below. And um, I'll have another video coming on how I warm my dogs because it's a little bit different. But um, I hope you liked it and you got some information out of it. And please like my um, video if you did and subscribe to my channel and I'll have more videos coming. Thanks. Bye.